Dominating your fantasy league? Prove it. Shape it up to be a great game between these two teams. There's no telling what might happen. Enhance the game with three easy steps. Predict. Compete. And win. Start now and play your first $20 risk-free. Only on WinView. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to TD Fans Talk, home of the real Miami Dolphin fans. Yes, we are live here for Monday Night Football, Kansas City Chiefs versus the New York Giants. Yes, I will be calling the game and talking some Dolphin football um, throughout it as well, here and there. Um, I don't want to, but, you know, it's inevitable because I'm going to get triggered just from the thought of us being one and seven. I'm getting triggered now. Oh, my gosh. What's up, y'all? Hit that like button if you're going to hang out with me on Monday Night Football, man. Y'all punch that like button. What's up, Jolie? I see you. Shout out to the Mod Squad. Shout out to all the subscribers to the channel. Shout out to all the members. Salute to you all. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Oh, my gosh, man. What are we to do? What are we to do? Well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. My gut feeling, nothing, because it is the Miami Dolphins. And we always find a way to mess up a perfect situation. You know, this goes back in history, ladies and gentlemen. This goes back in history, man. We just, I mean, they need to just call us can't get right. That's what it is, all right? Um The game is going to come on in, in about a minute. Um, I will be in the comment section answering some of y'all questions tonight while I'm calling the game. We got the Chiefs versus the New York Giants. The Chiefs should demolish them. But, you know, I would say about 80% of the games we saw so far on Monday and went in Thursday night combined have been really good games, man. And plus, you know, I get to see what's going on with Patrick Mahomes. Oh, maybe I don't get to see what's going on with him because this is um, – they playing the Giants, so it's not really going to be that much of a test in my opinion, but we'll see. But, again, um, he hasn't played great football at all. Patrick Mahomes has been very suspect. 
as the ball. We're going to have a touchback to start this game. All right, Patrick Mahomes is going to get the ball first, headed out on the field. Oh, man. Minus will change the title, TD. Might it might as well. Yeah, I get it. But now I'm going to be calling the game. But I get what you're saying. Let me take these off for now until I take guess. Tyreek Hill on first down gets a six-yard reception. Well, he actually breaks tackles, and he give they give him 10. So he's going to start out with 10 yards. So, again, I'll be calling the game, guys. Set, first and 10, Patrick Mahomes in the shotgun this time. Two to the right, one to the left. Sends one in motion to the left, fakes the handoff, back the pass, gives it to Kels. And Kels is going to pretty much get three yards on the play. We'll have second and seven coming up. Giants aren't that bad. We about to find out, right? We're about to find out, right? We are about to find out. All right, here we go. Two to the right, one to the left. Shotgun. This time we got a fake handoff again. Tyreek Hill the other way with the action. Another first down. Running a lot of quick action right now on him. TD, how your fantasy been doing? Pretty bad, man. I'm sure I lost this week. So I'm like two and six or something like that. All right, trips to the right, one to the left. Mahomes shotgun sends one in motion. Back to pass, hands it off this time. Run right up the middle is going to be good for two yards. Second and eight coming up. They are at the Kansas City 47. All right, here we go. Trips to the right, two to the left, empty backfield, empty set. A lot of cushion on second and eight. Mahomes back to pass, throws right in the zone, easy work. And that's another first down. Oh, my gosh. We finna, we finna have another zone game. I can't stand zone games because it's just trash and the easiest thing to do. It's just, it's, I mean, the guy came off the line of scrimmage wide open. I don't understand this NFL. These are guaranteed plays. All right, running formation with one receiver to the left, single running back. They fake the handoff play action. Patrick Mahomes looking, dump it off in the flat because why is another zone seven yards? Yeah, Patrick Mahomes going to get his rhythm back tonight. They run his zone, and he's just going to eat it apart. Dinking and dunking the whole way. And then later he'll take some shots. With no pass rush to, on top of that. So you got pass rushers just rushing and rushing and rushing, wasting their time, really. All right. Another zone. Throws the screen. Tyreek Hill. And he's going to be short of the first. Actually, he's going to lose a yard because Patrick Mahomes threw the ball very poorly to where Travis, I mean, where um, Tyreek Hill had to turn around for it. I don't know what's up with some quarterbacks to that. Tua's infamous for that. It's like you can't even throw the ball in a flat. Like your running back has to turn all the way around and do a 360 when you throw it in the flat to catch it. It kills me. Third and three, two to the left, two to the right, back to pass, throws the – oh, my gosh. This man was so wide open for three yards. He caught it and ran for another 10. I mean, we talk about 15-yard cushion, y'all. Oh, my God. On third and three. Oh, 
on third and three zones, boy. Can't make this up. First and 10. And that was 15 yards on third and three. All right, Patrick Mahomes, this time he's going to run. Slides for seven yards. They need to make a rule in the NFL, man. No zone allowed. I don't know. I'm just so sick of seeing this. this Oh, my God. I'm so sick of seeing it. All right, here we go. Second and five. They only give him five yards. Two to the left, one to the right. Toss to Tyreek Hill. And Hill's looking for space, and he gets it. First down. TD, I hope you're doing good, my man. I'm all right, man. I'm just worn out. I'm worn out, man. I'm just worn out. And not physically. These dolphins, man. I'm worn out, bro. <laughs> man. First and goal from the seven yard line. Mahomes takes the snap, hands it off, run up the middle is going to be good for one and a half yards. These Dolphins, man. And the suckiest part about it is when you know what the issue is, but you're scared that you might have to wait a few years for everybody else to figure out what you already know. That's the most exhausting part about it. When you know what the issue is, as they're about to run a Kelsey Wildcat, They're getting pretty and fancy, and he throws it away anyway, even though he has somebody wide open in the back of the end zone. I ain't mad at the play design. That was pretty interesting, but I will say this. I think he has somebody wide open in the back of the end zone, but he threw it too fast. That's that Tua stuff. But I'm telling y'all, that's what's most frustrating about all of this is when you know what the issue is, but you might have to wait three to five years before everybody else realizes it. It's the worst feeling ever. It's the worst feeling ever, man. When you know, and so many others don't, it's the worst feeling ever. <sighs> Tough, man. TD, don't worry. Help is on the way. But it's the Dolphins. Help is supposed to be on the way. But we're going to find a way to screw it up, man. Mahomes back to pass on third down, has all day, looking, throws, intercepted in the end zone, touchback, ball bounced around everywhere. Yeah, Mahomes is a bum. He's officially a bum. He's officially a bum. Mahomes, Tagovailoa, Patrick Tagovailoa, and it was a bad throw. I thought the receiver was just trash, but the receiver tried to get it. He just threw it bad. Patrick Tagovailoa, boy. They figured him out. Oh, don't worry. 
I've been saying what I've been saying about Patrick Mahomes for years. But that's all right. We're going to see. Once that money kick in next year. Once that money kick in next year, we're going to see. GD, hilarious. Everybody a bum. Yeah, I had those days. I had those days where I call everybody a bum and trash. And today, one of those days, it started last night. Bum and trash has taken over my vocabulary. Nobody exempt. Oh, my gosh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Two attack of our Lord, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just, oh, my gosh, man. What is it that these people see? What are they seeing? Man, it's like the most one of the most obvious things ever. Gosh. Man, oh my oh man, what are people seeing? Give me my vision back because I don't see what everybody's seeing. Oh my god. Gosh. Oh, this oh my god oh, man, this is just miserable. <laughs> oh man, I'm just thinking about the people that was arguing with me today about Parker's drop ball. Oh my gosh. I can't do it, man. Oh, all right. The Giants starting from the 20 trips to the right, one to the left. Takes the snap, hands it off, run right up the middle. Is only going to be good for two yards, man. Tua is my quarterback. He all our quarterback. You say that like it's something to be proud of. It's embarrassing. Who's your quarterback, TD? <laughs> Gosh. Two by two, two to the right, two to the left. Send one in motion. Now we got trips to the right, one to the left. Daniel Jones. Is that Daniel Jones out there? Oh, he picked off. Bum all these trash bums in this NFL. All of these trash bums in the NFL, boy. Watch it. They just everywhere. Days just everywhere. Oh, they everywhere, man. Oh, my gosh. I got to sit here and look at Jones giving me flashbacks of Tua. Gosh. Bums getting paid millions. Who are you telling? I need. What am I doing? I'm supposed to be trying out in the off season at this rate. All right, let's see if Bum Mahomes do something. He hands it off. Nice run right up the gut. You get nine yards. We're gonna have second and inches from like the two or three yard line, man. CD, what's your – oh, they gave him the first down. That is weird. So, first and, t first and goal from the Giants three. TD, what is your opinion on what Tua said? He's not a leader, man. He's not a go-getter. And that was some real flagrant stuff he said. That's sorry. That's weak and sorry for him to say what he said. It, it, angers, it really does anger me. What he said is just trash. Straight up trash. I don't have to do anything outside of what the play dictates. You know, if they call a run, I run. If they call a read pass, I throw the ball. And that's why that's your biggest flaw that everybody pointing out. Improvisation. When the play ain't going to work, can you make something happen? No, you can't, and no, you won't even try. Ladies and gentlemen, what he told y'all is, he won't even try. As Mahomes with his trash self throws it in the dirt, now we got third down. 
He basically told y'all, told all us to our face. If the play breaks down, I ain't responsible to do nothing more than I need to. I ain't got to do. I ain't got to be no hero. The play breaks down. Hey, it's over. Just like he did when that block, that runner came up the middle and he had a hot. Hey. Uh, uh, no, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You can't make this stuff up, man. All right, get in the end zone, Mahomes. You can get it right this time. And he gets the touchdown with the Tyreek Hill in the back of the end zone off of some improvisation. You know, that type of stuff that Tua just says, I'm not responsible for. So Tyreek Hill and Patrick Mahomes convert. One, two, three. Oh, they sent a three-man rush. And they got double team blocks. Oh man. Good sidearm throw by Mahomes. Mahomes a good bum. Yeah, at least he got skill in his bummerdom and his trasherdom, or whatever you want to call it. At least he got that improvisation skill. See, that's what it's about in today's NFL. You got to be able to improvise. You got to be able to make a play when it breaks down, running out of the pocket, throwing on the go. Like Tua finally had a 40-yard reception to Jaseki, and thank God they didn't call push-off on Jaseki, which he did. And thank God they didn't call the two holdings on the offensive line, which was horrible on that play. And we converted, and that's what you need from Tua all the time. But no, that ain't what he going to give you. Oh. Y'all hit the like button, man. Let's get 100 likes. And then I, I don't even know why I even stream tonight. Daniel Jones playing. That's going to give me nothing but two of flashbacks. Daniel Jones playing, and I'm sitting here. Do you think Tua will ball versus Texans? Of course he will. They going to play zone. He going to eat it apart, dinking and dunking all day, getting yards, moving down the field, getting a few four-yard, six-yard touchdowns. He going to have them he going to have them Jacksonville and um what's they what what's they name? He going to have them Falcons and Jacksonville stats and you know what the two and is going to say? See, man, I told you, you know, everybody have a bad game. And that was Buffalo. <laughs> he going to keep on putting up these empty stats. And then as soon as we play Baltimore, we're going to be sitting here depressed again. Then he going to go off and put up empty stats. And you know what's going to be the real game? The real game going to be when Tannehill stump a hole in him without Derrick Henry. And then most of y'all really going to be done with him. <laughs> most of y'all really going to be done with him. If Teddy, if we go on the road and Teddy Hill stump a hole in this team with no Derrick Henry, oh, my gosh. I was prepared for us to dog Teddy Hill this year. If Teddy Hill without Derrick Henry stump a hole in the Dolphins, oh, because two of Kate go. oh, my gosh. You ain't going to be able to make this stuff up, man. CD fans talk, why the tight end lining up everyone? Because we ain't got a leader at quarterback. CD, you'll be rooting for Tannehill. Stop the cap. It don't, it don't work that way, bro. I don't root for nobody. If the Dolphins playing them, I don't root for nobody that ain't a Dolphin, man. But no matter what or what you think. It's Dolphins all day. Matter of fact, two are better figure it out in that game. Because all we're going to do is sit there. If Tannehill playing good and two are playing bad, all we're going to do is sit there and be like, God, dog, what did we do? Even though you already know you screwed up. It's really going to come home to people at that moment. Real Dolphin fans? Oh, it's going to come home for them. All the hope and, and desire for Tua, let Tannehill put up some uh, beat us. 
and do well and to it on. It's going to come on for everybody. Daniel Jones back to pass. Throw. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Boy, there's more bums in this lead than I thought. Second to 10, Daniel Jones throws it in the dirt. Daniel Jones takes the snap, hands it off. They're going to get no yards on the play. Appreciate the donation to help. It's time to look at free agent QBs next year, TD. Ain't no free agent QBs, bro. Ain't no free agent QBs. Here we go. Trips to the left, one to the right. Daniel Jones takes a snap. Pressure coming. Throws a nice screen, but it ain't going to be good enough. They're going to punt. They get five yards. That's that Tua stuff. Franchise QB is the answer. Exactly. Ain't nobody looking for no free agent quarterback. Franchise quarterbacks don't hit the free agency. They don't hit free agency. Not unless they 40 years old. All those um, pedicures Sanders been getting with his new contract, been messing with his kicking. Those are points we need. Anything helps. I agree, man. When I was talking to Finn Sandy earlier, she made a good point that I didn't think about. Um, the reason why we ain't scoring this year is because our defense isn't scoring this year. Last year, our defense was scoring where they were giving us our offense the ball in field goal range at least right away. You know, this year is shedding the light on last year. Everybody, now you know that this defense was leading the team last year. And another thing, our offensive personnel this year is better than last year. That's why there's no excuse. Our offense and our offensive personnel is better than last year. But our team put up way more points, points last year. You know why? Because the defense led the way. The defense was actually scoring, or the defense was giving us the ball in field goal range to begin with. This offense been trashed for a, a freaking two years now, going on two years. And that's what people need to understand. Since Tua has been in this offense, it's been trash. Whole bunch of, and whenever they, we do put up stats, it's empty stats when we're getting blown out or losing by two or more possessions. It is what it is, man. God, dog. So let me give y'all some um, food for thought. Tua Tagovailoa's week eight PFF grade was 49.2. He was ranked 30th overall in the NFL. 49.2 PFF grade yesterday. Ranked 30th overall. 30th overall. Now, let me make this. Now, I'm about to hit y'all with, with something else that's going to make you real mad because you could think. See, see, I was waiting on that. Thank you, Jolie. Jolie said, wait, who was worse? Nobody was worse. It's just two of them playing tonight, so they ain't in the counting. This man ranked 30th because they ain't add those two yet. The two that's playing right now. Come on, Daniel Jones. Make two or 31. Have a worse game. Gosh. Freaking bum, man. Man, 30th in the league. <laughs> and you like, well, at least he wasn't the worst. Hold on. Two of them still playing. You can't make this up, man. 
And then look at this. Put the whole season together. Tua Tagovailoa's season grade is a 73. 29th overall in the NFL. 29th overall. That includes the Patriots game. That includes the trash Jacksonville empty stats. That includes trash Atlanta empty stats. And last and, and yesterday, 29th in the NFL, 73. I don't want to hear it no more. People out here still making excuses. There's everything around them. Can't make this up, man. As Tyreek Hill gets another first down. Another one. We need to trade our three first round picks for Watson. Um, when's the last time we hit on superstar first round picks? I'll wait. We never have, man. This is what it's about, man. Forget three first round picks. I give him nine right now. As far as I care, I can care less. Y'all seen that article came out today? It was a pretty good piece. I forgot who did it. I'll let y'all know in a second um, who did it. Uh, you know, it was Barry Jackson, man. If we traded for Watson, how we'd still have close to $100 million that we create in cap space. If we traded for Deshaun Watson, because we got $88 million now, if you take on his contract next year, you go down to like 40 something million. Um. 40, 40 something you'll go down to, but all is certain people that ain't going to be on this team next year. that can bring it all the way back up to close to a hundred million with Watson already on the, on the team. You got the money, you got everything. You got the draft capital to do it. You got the money to get him and load around him. Mahomes back to pass again on second and 10 throws it in the dirt trash. That tour stuff right there. Check Barry Jackson, TD. Uh, what do you mean, check Barry Jackson? What am I checking? TD going to be real sad tomorrow. I ain't going to be sad, bro. I don't know what y'all think this is. If we get Watson, yay. If we don't get Watson, it is what it is. Let's keep on watching these games and talk about how right I was. It's that simple. And it, it, this ain't hard. Mahomes goes for it all. Even though Tyreek Hill pushed off, it's still incomplete. Y'all think, oh, we didn't if we don't get watching tomorrow and be like, oh, okay, it is what it is. I get to see, I, I get to sit here and watch more people sweat even more. Because I can't make the decision for this team. They're gonna screw it up, they're gonna screw it up. Daniel Jones coming up next, man. Another bum. Um, I sit back and think it's such a horrible situation with our offense. How can we be this bad? There's teams with worse talent that put up points. Who's who? Who got worse talent that put up points? You, you got to tell me who their quarterback is. That's what I want to know. Barry Jackson Twitter. What I'm all right. Let me see what y'all talking about, man. What, what am I seeing with Barry Jackson? What is he talking about? Hmm. <sighs> uh. Oh, I don't know how true this is, but yeah, they got a report coming out right now where the Houston Chronicle reporting tonight that Watson informed Texans 
um he will he will accept wait inform texans he will accept a trade only to miami um yeah this is the last hour i wouldn't rule that out because it's getting dire um they might have actually told him that listen i'm only going to accept the trade to miami he might have very well have done that I don't know. We'll see, man. I don't even care. I just want to see if they screw this up or not. And let me say this, too. If they don't get Watson tomorrow... If Watson has that stance that he told him he only going to Miami, if I was Miami, when the offseason comes, I'll make sure I communicate to Watson just like they've been. Let me leave that alone. Um, I'll make sure that Watson knows you keep your stance only Miami. And if the legal situation clears up and the grand jury say we're not bringing charges, if I was Miami, I'm keeping the same offer on the table. I ain't going up just because – you know, his value is more now. Keep the same same amount, same offer on the table. Because what some of y'all don't realize is if Watson never had these legal issues, this man, the starting price for Watson would be about four first-round picks. And that's generous. You can get four first-round picks by two seconds and some sprinkle-ins. For for Deshaun Watson without no issues. So if I, if I was Miami, if you gotta wait to the off season, as a weird run just happened. If you gotta wait to the off season, then I'm going in the off season three first and whatever little other pieces they were trying to give three first and them little pieces. Texans like, you're crazy. He only want to come to Miami. Let him sit on your bench for $35 million a year. Let that man sit on your bench for $35 million a year. They're going to be forced to trade him. They're going to be forced to take whatever we're willing to give. Otherwise, you tell Watson, go over there and sit on the bench. Be disgruntled. Be all in the mix. They try to make you play, play like trash. If we wait, we don't get him. What are y'all talking about, man? If this man say Miami or nothing, then what are you talking about? They can play chicken all they want. I'm going to be honest with you. I got to be honest, though. I ain't mad at Ross, um, Greer and them. Don't get more than you need to. Just for the sake of we got to get them. No, you stick to your guns and you go all the way to that last minute and they going to call you first because you ain't calling them at all. You done already made your call. Daniel Jones goes for it all. Oh, my gosh. See the stuff I be talking about? Daniel Jones just threw the ball and there's a flag. And that should be on Kansas City because I'll pass interference too. Yep. Daniel Jones, you see that? You see you see that ball this man just threw? It took two of 14 games to get one of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It took two of 14 games to get one of them. A 50 order and two of us was only 40 yesterday. It took two of 14 games to get a 40. Good trick play, and they pick up another 15. You got the wide receiver out here throwing 15 yard dimes. <laughs> oh man, Q 
can't make this up, man. Daniel Jones out here throwing 50 yarders. And Tua got a, a 14 games before he give you one pass over 40. And it wouldn't even 50. Can't make this up, man. Come on, Daniel Jones. TD loves him too. I'm infatuated with him. When we trade that fool, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Oh, nice run up the middle for 11 yards. It's going to be first and goal from the six. When we trade Tua, I ain't going to know what to do. I'm still going to talk about Tua when we trade him. So y'all know it's inevitable whether it happened this year, this, tomorrow, whether it happened in the offseason, whether it happened next year, the year after. It's inevitable because you're going to realize he ain't the guy. You're going to realize it. And when, when we trade him, we're going to keep an eye on how he's doing around the league. How about that? <laughs> Oh, man. Now, nah, ain't going to be no reason to talk about Tua. You know why? Because the Tua near is going to be gone. And you ain't going to hear all that crazy talk no more. And I bet you every person in that locker room would actually breathe a sigh of relief when he gone. Who finally, we can stop being blamed for everything this fool doing. That's exactly what they probably say. Patty Mahomes got 10 interceptions, and we're not and we're halfway through the season. Uh. Hey, did y'all see? I mean, did y'all see Flores press conference today? Boy, they put that full court press on him again and had him stumbling. He couldn't answer the question again. I forgot who said it. They were like, um. They, they said something like, you know, um, would you be able to confirm whether or not you all will, you know, trade for a starting caliber quarterback or whatever? And all he, uh, two, uh, two is our quarterback. Well, why would it be so hard to say that you wouldn't be entertaining a trade for a starting quarterback caliber, caliber quarterback? They said, why, why can't you just, Get rid, like, get rid of the notion that you will be trading for a starting quarter caliber quarterback. He ain't know what to say. Um, um, I mean, I when I say two is our quarterback, I mean, what more can I say? He just told you we're not looking to trade for a starting caliber quarterback. That's all you got to say. Talk about what more can I say, boy, Florida A. Flores trying his best not to talk about it. He trying his best. TD go sub only chat. I got you, homie. The haters of the trolls must be in here, man. I'll go subscriber only chat. All right, here we go. Daniel Jones, back to pass. Throws. Oh. Overthrew him. Trash. Does X get traded tomorrow? Not likely because he ain't tradable. Y'all do know that, right? If somebody trade for X, man, they they would be giving us more than they would have to. This is weird. Uh, they're gonna be stopped. It's gonna be fourth and goal from the one. 
TD so desperate for a quick fix for Watson, it's disgusting. Oh, well, get your barf bag. But you need to understand Watson ain't no quick fix. Watson is the entire freaking mechanism. They going for it on fourth and goal. They faked the handoff. Tight end got him. Touchdown. Great design. Fool said quick fix. Y'all got to stop making these, these. Yeah, subscriber said that. Oh, oh, don't worry. They subscribe too. <laughs> oh, man. It's sad, man. Tony, um, AFC's roundtable this week. Uh, it should be unless those guys have an issue again. I mean, I ain't. You know, I mean, I'm ready for it every week. They just we've had some issues from them usually. Man. <laughs> um Man, I don't know if these are real, but people sharing their text messages from the Dolphins, man. This is funny. I'm laughing. I'm about to read some of them to y'all. Um, let me see what the homie just said. Um, Barry Johnson said, if not Watson, who would you pick up at QB? Nobody. If it ain't Watson, then it's Tua time. That's where I'm at with it. It is what it is. You, you made your bed, lay in it. If you ain't gonna get Watson, it is what it is. Ain't no freaking, ain't no other fix. Oh Lord, Patrick Mahomes almost threw another pick, and the guy just dropped it. It is what it is, man. I mean, I ain't finna sit. I'm not trying to go down this journeyman aisle and and, and sit here and be going eight and eight, eight and nine, and nine and eight, and ten and seven. No. Is Watson or make your bed with Tua? It is what it is, man. We screwed. Mahomes throws the ball away on third and eight. They're going to punt the ball. The Chiefs look suspect, boy. Bad off. Um, hey Daniel, hi. Hey Daniel, this is Ash with the Miami Dolphins. Do you have a couple of minutes to connect over a brief call? Would really appreciate the time. Um, take me off the list, please. Um, he oh, he muffed it. The Giants got it back though. He said, Take me off the list, please. The Dolphins um salesperson said, I'm assuming you aren't a Dolphins fan. He said, I'm assuming you can't read. 
Ha ha, have a good day, Daniel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, if we lose to Houston, someone has to get fired. You better know it. You better know it. Um, hey Brandon, this is Angie with the Miami Dolphins. I see you're coming out to a game here at Hard Rock Stadium. I've helped a bunch of single game buyers um get discounts on coming out to more games this year. Are you interested in coming to any other Dolphins games this season? Sorry, not this year. Thank you. Um, hey, I got you. I'm curious. Why not this year? <laughs> Brandon said, did you watch the last game? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Them salespeople at it right now. They trying to get these tickets sold. You know that the tickets ain't selling no more, right? Y'all do know that, right? They having a hard time selling anything. They can't. Now they're trying to basically give all kind of package deals and stuff for multiple games to try to put people in the stands. It's a waste now. The Miami Dolphins are are, are revenues going to struggle and everything. And they think they could just go into free agency and fix this crap. Hey, Ethan, just want to reach out and let you know. Um, about a cool incentive we are currently running today at the Miami Dolphins. We are offering a prorated six-game package as low as $401. So six games for $400. And for fans that join today, we are offering two extra complimentary seats for the November 7th game against the Texans. Does this sound like something you'd consider? <laughs> the person responded, Y'all are shameless, huh? <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. They giving away tickets now. That's crazy, man. And they don't get it. They don't get it. Watson will fix sales. You better know it. You better know it. You better know it. I won't spend another penny on the Dolphins till I figure this out. But listen, I've been made that decision. All right, here we go. Second quarter, Giants. Jones in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Hands the ball off. Run up the middle for three yards. Really two. They down bad, TD. They down real bad. They down real bad. All right, second and eight. Throws incomplete. Terrible throw. Terrible throw. All right, third and eight. Two to the right, two to the left. Oh, my gosh. Pass hit Shepard right on the chest. Incomplete. It didn't matter anyway. That was that dink and dunk tour stuff right there. It wouldn't have mattered if he caught it. Oh, how y'all feeling, man? Fuller raw Miami. Fuller ain't raw Miami. Fuller did not rob Miami. Miami got their money worth with Fuller. I'll leave it at that. No comment. Um, (sighs) 
Go get the man, Deshaun Watson. Y'all know what's crazier about it, though? The man wants to be a dolphin. He wants to be a dolphin. You will never, probably in the history of the NFL, get a top quarterback in his prime want to come to your team again. You'll probably never see that again. Are you going live tomorrow for trade deadline? Uh, not likely. Not unless something happened. Why does Watson want to be a Dolphin at TD Fence Talk? I knew he wanted to be a Dolphin from the day that he was having his issues in Texas te with the Texans. Um, believe it or not, and it, his team has already um, spoken in regards to this. They like what Miami's doing, especially from a um, from a standpoint of um, equality and things of that nature. Um, that was one of the big issues and with the Texans team. Also, um, he've always said that he would love to play for the Miami Dolphins. This goes way back. Huge fan of Dan Marino, always has been. And it was a match made in heaven. And now we got this little short noodle arm, non-leader. Taking snaps for us. Standing in the way. It's that simple. See, this is that stuff right here. I'm going to put your comment on the screen, pro. Oh, I don't even see it. I don't see your comment, pro. Uh, let me see. Ronnie Lakers all day. Oh, it didn't show up. Oh, pro. Yo, I don't know why your comment didn't show up for me, pro. But pro said, TD, I have to admit, you called it before the draft. I thought you was a tour hater. Nah, he's trash. Listen, bro, here's what's funny about this quote-unquote TD's a tour hater. I've been consistent before the draft, and I didn't even know Tua to like him or hate him. I didn't know Tua to like him or hate him. I was not a college football guy. I'm sitting on the show debating with EM, Reason, Ball Game, Finsanity, all of us on the show, and we going back and forth, and everybody like two or two or two, and I'm like, okay, these guys are having high level college college conversation, and I don't, and I'm glad they're here because I don't follow, I follow college, but I don't care nothing about college like that because 90 percent of all college players end up bums in the NFL. I wait till you get to the NFL and prove something before I even care to even know about you and where you came from. And I said to myself, you know what? Let me change that. Let me go actually do some research. Joe Burrow. Let me go study Joe Burrow. I'm studying Joe. Okay, I'm getting all of the pros, the cons. I'm making my own evaluation. I don't even know. Okay, a college player, I can't evaluate him off college. I'm going to evaluate him like a pro. What am I seeing? I did my evaluation of Joe Burrow. I did my evaluation on Jordan Love before I did Tua. Did my evaluation on Jordan Love. Then I went and I did my evaluation on Tua. And I thought it wasn't even that big of a deal. I was just like, yeah, you know, I just don't, you know, Tua. And, and my analysis with Tua was I couldn't tell you whether he was going to be good or not in the NFL. I just said, based off of what I saw from him in college on film, 
He's the biggest one that I have no clue where he's going to be in the NFL. What did I find on tape? I said, on tape, this is what I see from Tua. He got 40 seconds to throw the ball on every play. That's number one. Yeah, I'm exaggerating, but you get my point. He got 40 seconds to throw the ball on every play, right? So when, when I say he got four, I mean, all right, let's be real. He has seven seconds to throw the ball on every play. I said, I can't rank his, rank his pocket awareness. I can't rank his ability to avoid pressure. Why? Because he never really experienced it in college. So that's incomplete. I can't tell you what he's going to be in that regards. All right. All right, his ability to throw the ball. Man, I'm seeing a lot of, um, not so much, like I'm seeing a lot of dinking and dunking, but it ain't a problem because he's getting a lot of mid-range chunks in there too. But then I'm like, I'm seeing actually a really large sample size of deep throws too. But there's one thing that stood out on all his throws. God, dog, this is like practice. This is like practice. Not a single receiver is never wide open. So I don't know what he can do in a tight window. Another incomplete for me. I'm like, I have no clue what he going to do in an NFL setting in a tight window. I'm watching game after game. Everything is like practice. Wide open. Wide. So I'm like, okay, let me critique his throws on the wide open guys. Then I said to myself, well, he's not as accurate as people see, make it seem. He has a high completion percentage, but a lot of these balls are not thrown on the, in stride or placement isn't right where it needed to be. This guy just beat his guy by 15 yards for a go route, but he got to slow down, turn around, catch the ball, then keep running. That's not accurate. It's a completion, but that's not accurate. This guy is on a crossing route. And he has to reach back for the ball and then keep running. But since he's so wide open, he's gone. That's actually not accurate. Because in NFL windows, I'm not sure about that. But I still wasn't judging him. I just kept on getting incompletes. So about, about the seventh game in the season of me watching all his games, I stopped. I said, you know what? I'm not watching any more of these. I'm not getting any answers from him. Let me go find his toughest competition in college. Out of all of his college games, he only plays seven ranked teams. He only has seven games versus ranked teams, ladies and gentlemen. I remember doing all my analysis, my papers here, my papers there. He played against seven ranked teams. I think Vanderbilt or something like that was two of them. And I'm like, dang, this man got like, I forgot what it was, seven or nine interceptions, and all of them came in these games? Okay. Oh, some of these teams are bums too, but they were better competition. He didn't look as good. Everybody wasn't as open, but they still were pretty doggone good. So I said, let me go to the biggest games. Let me go to the top 10 ranked teams. I went to the top 10 ranked teams, and holy moly, there you have it. There goes the sample size I'm looking for. There go title windows. There goes pressure on tour. There goes all the things that he's going to see in the NFL, and they were all his worst games, and, most, and, and two of them he lost. It was like three games I'm talking about here, and two of them he lost. He threw his picks. He looked frazzled. He looked out of place. He looked like a bum for three quarters and then start putting up some numbers late. And I said, it's unfair for me to judge him off of those only those three games. But what I will tell you is those three games did not impress me. And I'm concerned because he's a one read guy because nowhere in any of his film did I see him reading defenses. He hikes the ball. He looks at a guy, wait on it, and he goes there. And then... It looks like he's reading defenses because of his mechanics. Tua tour in college was good at this. Before the play was even snapped, I'm about to go to the receiver on the left for the go route. He already know that, but what does he do? Hike, looks at the safety, looks right, and I swear to y'all, on his way looking left, he already cocking back. 
and he looks and he goes, he not reading no defense. He could that guy could have been covered perfectly, getting ready for a pick, and he was gonna throw it anyway. That's what I discovered that Tua already knows where he wants to go with the ball, even if the guy is open or not. I went and looked at his interceptions. I said, he already knew where he wanted to go with the ball. He didn't care what the defense was doing. He was hoping that they moved off his spot by his head movement to play before. And I go to the round table panel and I said, this is what I found. I'm not sure. I don't want to judge this kid off of a few games, but I don't know if he's going to be ready for the NFL because the windows will be tighter. He won't have as much time to throw the ball. And he's going to actually have to read defenses. And he's a one read guy. He's a one read. You're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. Two is the greatest at reading defense. He's the most accurate. He, he knows how to manipulate and do this to defenses, blah, blah, blah. I ain't been wrong yet. I ain't been wrong yet. But I got that I got that title to um to a hater early on, and I didn't even know him as a person to care about hating on him or not. I just knew I had a pre-draft analysis myself, and it was my first time doing one, so I didn't have to be right. I just said this is what I found, and I gotta stick with what I see, and let's see if it translates in the NFL, and I'll learn from that. I'll learn from that. But guess what I've learned from it? God dog it, I've been right the whole time. And you know why I've probably been right? Because I was never a fan of him in college. I never cared about him. I never cared to hate or like him. So I was able to actually evaluate him objectively without caring whether he was good or not, without wanting him to be good or bad. I didn't care either way because I didn't know nothing about no two attack of our Lord. I don't, I don't know Alabama fan. I never watch Alabama games. I could care less. So when I finally saw what I saw, I had my take. Everybody hated me for my take, but I haven't been wrong yet. He's still a one week quarterback. He's still dink and dunk. And let me tell you something. Even in that game Sunday, this man had some throws that was in such tight coverage, and I promise y'all, you ain't got to believe me. Go watch the replays. He wasn't threatening it in there. He was just throwing it like he does in practice, whether it was covered or not. Luckily, the timing was perfect where it looked like it went between defenders like it was perfect. He wasn't like, oh, I'm going to squeeze this in there. No, he was going to throw it whether the defender was in better position or not. That's what he does. And then you got all these players. And let me tell you when I knew I was vindicated from my college analysis. Two teams, Clemson and um, LSU, after both games when they played Tua, both teams came out on national television, defensive players on TV said, well, we knew how to beat Tua, you know, take away his first read, send some pressure. And, and, and another thing, if he looks one way, He's probably going to go the other way. He's just trying to get you off with his eyes, and he's going to throw it anyway. We knew how to rattle him. We knew how to beat him. And I said, this is what I saw on tape. Wow. I didn't. As a matter of fact, let me tell you all what's even funny about it. I didn't even know the tape existed, right? I've been saying that for weeks based off of what I had on tape, and somebody emailed me. They said, TD, you'll love this. This is speaking to exactly what you found on film. I clicked on it, and you got freaking LSU secondary saying the exact words that I got out of my evaluation of watching him. And then somebody a few months later sent me another clip of somebody at Clemson saying the same thing. And then y'all get mad because J.C. Jackson said what he said the other night. I mean, when we played the Patriots, J.C. Jackson wasn't lying. He was telling the truth. What you think the Patriots was doing? Y'all got mad at J.C. Jackson, but that's what Belichick and them in the locker room telling them. This is what Tua does. Blah, blah, blah. He came out and he said it. You think J.C. Jackson just said that just to say it? No, it's what that whole defense knew to be true, and that was their game plan. And quite honest with you, they held, they held us to 17 points. They were pretty successful doing it. Our defense just did it better. Our defense just did it better. And y'all, y'all, oh, they hating, they hating. Everybody got to be a hater, but nobody can tell me that I've been wrong yet. Tua's been one read. Tua can't read a defense. 
The only thing he can read is on an RPO, is the guy crashing downhill or not? That's Is the linebacker coming up or not? That's all he can do. He can't read a pro-style defense, y'all. That's what y'all need to understand and stop getting all of y'all feelings about. That's why we do the RPO as much as we do, because the kid can't operate a pro-style def- um, offense because he can't read a defense. You wonder why everything is dink and dunk. Because in the RPO, the box is already loaded on the fake handoff. The pressure going to get there quick. And an RPO is typically short passes. Fake the handoff. If you ain't running, you hurrying up and throwing. The man can't read a defense in a pro style. Don't even know the indicators of whether it's cover two or Tampa two. He don't know the indicators. He don't know on the field. Oh, they're not in cover two. They're actually in Tampa two. It looked the same, but he don't know the small indicators on the field that tell you. Shift your running back from the left to the right. Okay, that middle, the, the mic didn't move. This might be Tampa two and not just cover two. All that stuff matters. And you wonder why they give him a, a baby game plan. They're giving him, like Chan Gailey said, what he can handle. Well, Chan Gailey, um, you know, it, it, it seems like a different playbook between two and Fitz. Chan Gailey told y'all right there our face. It is different. I'm giving two what he can handle. I mean, he's going to get it, but it's just a matter of when. Chan Gailey said Chan Gailey never, never held his tongue. He said... I believe Tua will get it. It's just a matter of when. When. I've been consistent day one, and I ain't been proven wrong yet. Daniel Jones play action. Throws underneath to the running back. Man, we got a 14. Oh, he just broke out. Lord. That was a huge game, but we got a flag that might be coming back. That might have been 30 some yards. Oh, and they adding 15 yards for a roughing the passer. TD trigger. I ain't trigger, bro. All I'm saying is I've been saying this for two and a half years now. I've been telling y'all what his evaluation really was. And now all y'all seeing it firsthand. But ain't nobody coming back and telling me, dang, you were right. All the subscribers that were like, oh, you're an idiot. I'm unsubscribing to you if you think Tua is this and that. Daniel Jones got two plays of 40 or more yards in this game already, and it took Tua. It took Tua 14 games to get one. Daniel Jones got two plays in this game alone of 40 yards or more, 41 and 50. And it took two or 14 games to get one play for 40 yards. When Buffalo already up by two scores and don't care anyway. It's the stuff I be talking about. But y'all ignore that. And the 41-yarder ain't even including the um, roughing the passer. That was tacked on top of the 41. Daniel Jones on the quarterback keeper. Mm, decent run for five yards. It's going to be third and five coming up, man. TD knows so much about football. How did he know Tua is a – how did he know Tua is a bust? Uh, I don't give people a bust label, bro, until after three years. So two is not a bust. I haven't I haven't called two a bust. I may get mad and call him trash, call him a bum, but he's not a bust. You don't get that label until after your third year, and then you start talking about that. 
You don't know what a guy, hell, who knows? Tua might turn the corner and next year. I don't care what he do this year. I don't care if he throw for 5,000 yards and 8,000 touchdowns. Ain't nothing going to salvage this year because we play bums. But he can come in here next year and just be the best quarterback ever. Finally, but, but uh, at the same token, something y'all don't realize is, when did I tell y'all if Tua becomes good, what year did I tell y'all it'll happen in? I've been consistent about that from day one, too. I told y'all Tua is the type of guy that's a year three guy if he becomes the guy. I still don't know if he'll become the guy, but if he does, it'll be year three. I was telling y'all before the season, I don't know what y'all thinking about. Tua ain't going to be nothing hot this year. If he ever shines, it's going to start in year three. I've been telling y'all that. I ain't waver since day one. I haven't wavered yet. I've been consistent and right. And they're going to throw for two yards, but they're going to be two yards short of the first down. So it's going to be fourth and two. What do you do? They are going to kick the field goal. They should have just went for it. Scale of one to ten, Watson coming three. Tell you, Miami will screw it up. But yeah, okay. Let me stop talking about the Dolphins like that. It ain't that Miami will screw it up. At this point, they don't have to rush it. They can actually let the legal system go through. Like, think about it. We ain't making the playoffs. So, what benefit is it to get Watson right now? I got to be honest, if I was in the front office and I've gotten to this point to where I'm one in seven, I'm voting to let's just get him in the offseason. Because in the offseason, we'll know if there'll be any indictments. And if there's no indictments, we're all celebrating the day we find out like, man, when this when the offseason come, we about to go get our quarterback, baby. But you don't have to rush now. What's the? I, I understand some of y'all saying only to secure him, but if it's Miami or bus, you're gonna secure him anyway. You're gonna secure him anyway. If it's Miami or bus, you will secure him anyway. He might change his mind, TD. Then so be it. So be it. So be it, man. But this might be actually a blessing for us. You can actually know the the whether criminal charges will be filed or not because nobody care nothing about all that other stuff. The only thing they care about is will criminal charges be filed. If we want to be 100% honest here, it's the only thing anybody cares about. And if the grand jury convene and they say no charges will be brought, we all should be having a party without having them yet celebrating watch it ain't gonna be indicted we about to go get this man in the off season well we better we better not screw that up i, I get you now i'm feeling nervous now because just to think about that because dolphins will find a way to screw it up from now to then <laughs> oh man mahomes throws it in the flat So, yeah, man, and just imagine, what if we wait to the offseason and he gets indicted? Bam. You just dodge the bullet, right? Us going one and seven has turned out to be a perfect situation for us. I'm telling y'all. It turned out to be perfect. I mean, I hate it, but it is what it is now. So now it's perfect. We ain't got to rush. Let Tua keep on putting up them empty stats. Hopefully he looks efficient doing it to where another team is like, you know, I like his efficiency. I think that we can make this work. You know, I think he could be great for us. Increase the value. Matter of fact, if I was the Dolphins, I'd let him keep playing against these bums. And when we play Baltimore, tell him he got a rib injury. Sit him. When he play against Tennessee, tell him his eye hurt or something. Just let them rip these bums apart that play zone is trash. 
Get that trade value up. Incomplete. Or or just keep him on the roster as the backup next year. <laughs> keep him on the roster as the backup next year. That ain't a bad idea either. You know, when we up 40 to 10 with six minutes left in the fourth quarter, let him go in and get a little play for the two and ears. Hey, two and ears, it's y'all time. <laughs> oh, man, let him hand the ball off a few times. He's in a no win situation. What a Reed ball out for real, though. Well, he ain't with the Dolphins no more. That'd be interesting, though. Um, What's up, Damien? I seen you in here. Your message went by quick. Mr. Spacely, man, what's up with them Rams, man? Up oh, free play for Mahomes. And he better take it, and he does. I almost picked off, but that was a free play for five yards. Defensive lineman was all sides. What's good, Damien? Um, Tua smells of Sean Watson saves the day. Yeah, man. Um, oh, that Von Miller. Yeah, man. I ain't going to lie to Rams. See, God, dog. See, certain things that's triggering me, man. Look at the freaking Rams. They traded for their quarterback. They one of the hottest teams in the NFL. And now they go get Von Miller. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Like, they they like, who cares about draft picks? What you want, two second rounders? Here you go. That's a steal to me. They don't care about them draft picks. Oh, I don't want to give away our future draft picks. Yeah, they ain't they ain't working anyway. I gotta stop that mess. Y'all rather a draft pick on a on a hopeful that got a ten percent chance of being elite in it. No, no, no. I don't even know why I said ten. Y'all do realize every draft pick has like a one percent chance of being elite. Like people will hold on to a first round pick that has a 1% chance of being elite instead of just trading it for an elite player for the life of me. For the life of me. No way. I don't know where that logic ever came from. Three first, two seconds, and X. Get the trade done. Man. Ten and oh run rest of the season. I still got faith. Hey, enjoy that. I got faith too. You know it's crazy. This team could do it too. This team, I truly believe this team could do something like that. Ten and oh run. To miss the playoffs. I just don't even know if Tua going to make it through the rest of the season anyway, injury-free. Third and 15. Man. Mahomes back to pass. Throws it. Incomplete. Hardman, be quiet. You know, good and well, there ain't no flag. Let's see if Daniel Jones can run a two-minute drill successfully.
I almost picked off. Mahomes should have like three picks by now. Y'all remember Tua uh, rookie year? Well, last year with Tua. Y'all remember all them picks that was dropped with Tua? Nobody talk about that. We're like, well, it didn't happen. You're right. I give you that. It didn't happen. But y'all remember all them picks that was dropped? How many picks Tua should have had last year? That was just drop, 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 drop. They forget all about that. No, you can't go off of what could have. I'm talking about picks right in the hand of the defenders. Like, this guy had to be the luckiest person ever. Like, everybody was dropping them. They were just dropping the picks everywhere. Like, I'm like, man, he's lucking out. Just read the report. I think Watson will be here tomorrow, and it said he will settle his lawsuits. I don't know about that. I done told y'all for two weeks now. I don't even care no more. I'll worry about it when it happened. I know it need to happen, but I know we, we talk about the Miami Dolphins. All right, Giants. A minute 36 left. Let's see what they do. They send in a blitz, hits his hot, and that's going to be six yards. Oh, they ain't got no timeout, so it is what it is. Texans asking for more because he's going to settle his lawsuits. Now, I ain't going to lie. That is a good part of it. You know, if they're going to settle their lawsuits, you know, that means they're asking for, um, you know, that's a good sign for him. You know, that's going to basically, if he does settle the lawsuits, that's going to get those 22 off his back. Then he got to worry about the criminal piece of it. But, you know, I'm going to be honest. If he settles his lawsuits, I got to be honest. Some of those 10 um, criminal um, complaints, some of those are just going to start being thrown out as some of the women may end up saying they don't want to cooperate anymore. Um, and I'm not saying they're in it for money or anything like that, but I know none of them went to the police until the media start, um, criticizing why y'all ain't filing no police report. Cause y'all remember that's what it was at first. All these complaints and not a single, um, criminal complaint. And two days later, criminal complaints, they start going down there. That was only happening because everybody in the media in the world was criticizing the women because they out here filing suits, but not one of them going to file a criminal complaint. Something ain't right. Then they start filing criminal complaints. And only half of them did. So I think that if he do financially settle, some of even those are going to drop off because they're going to be like, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to um, participate anymore. I don't want to. Y'all know how that goes. They're going to say, I don't want to. Um, dang, I don't know why the word is shooting a blank in my mind. Um, they don't want to cooperate with the investigation anymore, nor would they be willing to testify or anything if it did go to court. So a lot of that will end up going away, too. But we'll see. Jaseki and Parker to Texas. Texans, X stays. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I would love to see Jaseki and Parker with Watson. Jaseki for sure. Jaseki would eat 130 yards a game with Watson. 130 easy with Watson. Easy.
All right. Um, let's see. Parker X Preston and our whole O line. Nah, I want this whole O line to stay for dog on show. I'm telling y'all, if Watson was here, y'all ain't gonna be complaining about no O line. That's all I'm saying. And they can play as bad as they've been playing. You would not be complaining about the O line. I, I'm literally telling y'all, we would. Come on, y'all. Do y'all realize we're one in what are we one in seven right now? We would be six and two with this O line, and they'd still be trash, and it, and it ain't mattering as much. This O line might even be worse than y'all, the worst that y'all already thinking. Because the game plan is with two is get the ball out quick. If we were throwing deep balls and doing all that good stuff, the O line would look even worse. All right, face it, TD. It is coaching that has been the issue here. The Miami Dolphins have destroyed two attack of our with the old line and glass receivers. But yeah, I'm sorry. I can't face that. I just don't agree. I just don't agree, bro. All right, we might get. Uh, this is going to be holding. They're going to back it up 10 more yards, so that'll end the quarter. I don't even think they'll run another play. They might just take a knee at this point. Oh. Mm, he gets out of bounds. I wonder where they throw a Hail Mary. We can't draft right. Mm. Take a shot. Delay a game, Lord. And they take a knee. Watson fixes the D. I forgot. That's right. I don't know what y'all talking about. But he definitely made the defense better because he'll keep them off the field as much. He'll cash in on their turnovers and reward them for their hard work. Some of y'all don't realize that that's, that's, that's what quarterbacks do. When the defense gets a turnover, let me reward y'all for getting me the ball back. Here's some points. Thanks to y'all. Our defense out there feeling like they playing offense and defense. They out there like, man, we got to figure out how to get some points. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. 
TD, just get Watson name tatted. Nah, I'm straight. I don't do that. That's that's the only tat I get right there. Not Watson, not Tua, not none of them. That's it. That's it. Man, Jameis Winston out for season, torn ACL. I'm sick of losing, TD. We all are, man. You got the new logo? Yes, sir. Why not the old school logo? Because I'm a new school guy. I wasn't alive in the old school, and the part of the old school that I was alive, we ain't win anyway. We ain't win no Super Bowl anyway. The only Super Bowl that I care about is the one that this logo going to get. This one right here. Go get Cooper Rush, Miami. Go get Cooper Rush. Sacrificing morals for wins ain't a good look. Staples, um, I agree. I agree. I don't get your point. If I'm to assume correctly, I'm thinking that you're misinformed and you're talking about Deshaun Watson. Uh, what morals would I be sacrificing? What morals would I be sacrificing? If I wanted to get Deshaun Watson, because I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. What morals would I be sacrificing for wins? Just curious. Allegations. Oh, allegations. Do you know what the word allegation means? See, some of y'all need to go back to school, man. You know what the word allegation means? Do you know what the word allegation means? It's very uh, alleged. Do you do you know do you know what that word means? I know Aaron. I just like responding to this type of stuff. Alleged. Do you know what that means? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have a, I have a, now I guess I have a moral issue because, um, if somebody's alleged of doing something, I guess morally I'm supposed to automatically believe it. I'm just supposed to automatically believe it because it's been alleged, right? Okay. The aliens from Space Jam got to us, Tally. <laughs> Comment of the <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a good one. Oh my gosh, that was a good one. This fool said the aliens from Space Jam got to us. <laughs> oh man, hey, bro. I gotta, I, I'm sorry, bro. I gotta steal that. I gotta put that on Twitter because I actually have fun every day trolling the two and ears on Twitter. They be mad at me, boy. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, every day I be on Twitter going off. They be mad at me. Oh, that's oh, that's why your show sucks. I can't stand you. I wish you just shut down. <laughs> This man said the aliens from Space Jam stole to us. <laughs> oh, where my phone? Oh, I gotta do it now. Oh, I gotta. Hey, I got. I'm sorry, bro. I gotta steal it. I gotta make it seem like it was mine. <laughs> oh man. Oh no no no. Hold on hold on hold on. I gotta put breaking news in front of it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I can't get over it. Stop it. <laughs> I can't get over it. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, that was epic. The aliens from Space Jam <laughs> stole <laughs> Oh my gosh. Man, that was epic. Oh man, that was good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, that was a good one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, that was epic. Man, I got, oh my gosh, who wrote that, man? Who wrote that? Who wrote that, man? They got to get credit, man. Oh my gosh. John, man, you epic for that one, John. John, you are epic. <laughs> John ain't right, man. Oh, that was, oh my gosh. That one was funny. <laughs> no, let me tell you why it's even more funnier to me. Because earlier today, people were putting up clips of Tua throwing the ball in Alabama, and they were like, you don't just lose this type of talent overnight. <laughs> and it's clicking now. Like, he had it in Alabama. What happened to it? The aliens from Space Channel. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, that was epic. Oh, man. Shout out to Engraving, man. I seen you here, man. Engraving was getting a laugh, too, man. The aliens, <laughs> the aliens from Space Jam stole to his <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. oh, man. People already responding, talking about I'm dying. Oh, man, I'm dead. <laughs> That was such a good one, man. Oh, my gosh, man. I needed that laugh, man. I needed that laugh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I got to stop, man. I got to do better, man. I got to do better. That was epic, though. That was the perfect joke, man. <laughs> that was the perfect joke. Man. Oh, man. I can't wait to by noon tomorrow. Enough people would have seen it. Boy, the tw oh, I'm <laughs> going to be mad, boy. Oh. <laughs> TD, make a shirt that say that. Oh, I might do it. I might do it, man. Oh, man. I might make a shirt, man. <laughs> Somebody said, dog in our QB, TD. Hey, everybody fair game. We won in seven. They owe us. They in debt to us. They could take a joke. We won in seven. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Oh, my gosh, man. Boy, oh, boy. John ain't right for that one. John, you put me in a bad position. TD, keep up the hard work. Let's get this get this new QB, man. We'll see, man. Oh, man. TD going to get jumped by two in the ears, man. 
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. Oh man, they even got Josh Holtz replying to it. <laughs> Moron Mountain. Oh my gosh, man. That was epic, bro. That was epic, John. I got to give it to you on that one, bro. <laughs> I got to give it to you on that one, man. Whew. <laughs> All I'm thinking about is when, when, they, when them guys lost their powers, Bugsy Bulls. All them guys, like, <laughs> they couldn't do nothing. <laughs> Is that how to look on Sunday? Oh man. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh. oh, they y'all know they ain't happy with me, boy. Y'all know they not happy with me. Man. And people ain't right. They sitting here retweeting it. <laughs> Y'all ain't right, man. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all got to see my Twitter, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh my gosh. Who tweeted it? No, somebody said it in the comment section and I had to tweet it. I had to. Y'all don't get it. Every day I go to war with the two two and years on Twitter. It'd be, it'd be about 10 a.m. I say, okay, what can I say that can get under their skin? I just be sitting back thinking, what can I say to get under their skin? And I just start going. And sure enough, they boy, they know how to take bait like it ain't nothing else. They know how to take bait like it ain't nothing else. Man. This was epic, boy. <laughs> People putting pictures talking about which one took it. Oh, man. It was, <laughs> they going to caption which one took it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know it's funny when when all these people are re retweeting it, man. You know they don't want to retweet my stuff. Man, that's funny. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, we're gonna let this one go do what it do, man. <clears throat> <laughs> More uh, mountain. Wow. That's what Josh, Josh Holt said. <laughs> He's at More uh, Mountain. Oh my gosh, man. I can't. Boy, that was a bombshell dropped on me tonight. That was so hilarious. <laughs> oh, I'm a giggle about that one for a wow. I am going to get, oh my gosh, I am going to giggle about that one for a minute. Oh my gosh. TD, did you create the word to a near? No, Finsanity did. Finsanity created the word to a near. She always get on me because I put a definition behind it. She'd be like, no, you can't put a definition behind a word I create, but I still put my definition behind it. Um, and real Dolphin fans get mad at the term Tua Near because they support Tua, but they don't realize they're not Tua Nears. Tua Nears are only fans of Tua that will leave being a Dolphins fan if we traded him. That means you're only loyal to him. You're not loyal to the Dolphins. And there are so many of those. And Dolphin fans need to stop 
thinking that we're talking about them just because they support Tua. Nothing's wrong with supporting Tua and hoping that he becomes great and wanting the best for him. Oh, my gosh. I heard it all. Oh, my gosh. I heard it all. Man. This man said Space Jam. The aliens from Space Jam stole <laughs> two. I still can't get over it. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Man, you could tell that came right off the top of his head. John, man, you a legend for that one, bro. You a legend for that one, man. Holtz a two and near. Oh, wow. You th- No, I don't think Holtz ain't no two and near. He's, he want, he's um, always said, you know, um, he always supported two, I believe. I think he's always on um, rock with Tua, but he ain't no Tua near. If the Tua was going tomorrow, I think he's still a Dolphin fan, right? You know? Um, man. Oh, man. The made my night. Hmm. <laughs> Man, that was supposed to be a video title and me do my own stream on it, man. Ugh. Finn Sanity said, Pete, someone said two in here on ESPN. Oh, I heard it on TV like three times. See, Finn Sanity, you should have patented it. You should have got a patent on two in here. Problem was, it wasn't going to last long because he probably only got another year or two in the NFL. Got to bounce around about six teams or something like that. Um. Yeah. Oh, man. TD, you made tonight's stream pretty good. I appreciate that, man. Right, we got a lot more people rocking with us on Monday Night Football. Every Monday and Thursday, we only got like 200 people. Tonight, we had like 360 at one point. I think that joke knocked some of the two in ears out. You know, they stick around to, to, to go back and forth with me. But I think that joke just dropped mic on them. That joke just dropped the mic on him. Shout out to John, man, giving me ammunition. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That was epic. That was so epic, man. That was so epic, man. Whoo, that was funny. Everybody putting these Space Jam pictures online. Y'all ain't right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> LOL ammunition. No, nah, I mean, y'all know I love to enjoy my life. I have a lot of fun. Half the stuff I say, I don't mean, even though I deep down inside believe it's true. <laughs> Oh, man, I just enjoy myself, y'all. I know some people, I get under, I ain't gonna lie, I get under some people's skin. I really do make some people mad, and I learned that on Twitter. There are a lot of people that mad at me. They get they get real mad at me on Twitter, boy. They call me every name they possibly can. They be mad at me on Twitter. You have a, ch- you have a channel with all those people. You, you, you're supposed to be a lot more responsible than this. Sh- shut up. Mind your business. Why are you even following me? (laughs) That's why I tell people 10 times a day. Why are you even following me? You are commenting on everything I do. How do you even know I do it? If I'm that trash and an idiot, why are you even following me? Twitter got this button called block. Instagram do too. How do you even see my stuff? You know you can eliminate it out of your life. That's the one thing that I still haven't figured out yet. 
Because I don't like blocking people. I just block them when they get so mad that they try to say something about my wife, my kids, or something like that, and I just block them. But, like, for real. You hate me so much that you stick around and wait. Like, I had somebody today say, I'll make a bet with you. If we don't get Watson, you shut your channel down. <laughs> like, why does it matter to you? It could be shut down if you unsubscribe and block me. You ain't, you will never know I exist. Twitter does that for you. It is crazy to me, man. People think their last words are going to be the dagger in your soul. Oh, you're trash, TD. Okay, you're the 30th person that said that today, but yet all 30 of you follow me. It ain't adding up. It don't make sense. It don't make sense, man. Oh my gosh, man. I gotta put this back on there. Oh man. TD, everything is entertainment when it's all said and done. Exactly, man. You got a guy on here enjoying himself, having fun. Tuesday, I mean, Monday and Thursday night football. If I wouldn't stream it, I'd just be sitting on my couch, laid back, watching the game. I got a I got a family that I built over here. We've all built because we all family. I'm we back and forth, we chatting, we're friends. We hanging out, we chilling, we arguing, we debating, we going back and forth, we laughing, we saying silly, crazy things, man. And we enjoying ourselves. But some people don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you have fun. Like, I mean, guys, y'all got to understand, man. I know how life is, man. I man, I got five kids. I got five kids. I was in corporate America for 10 years. I know how life is, man. You got all these people in this world waking up, getting their kids to school, going to work, getting off, dealing with their kids, putting food on the table, trying to clean up a little, going to bed, waking up. Blah, 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 over and over again. And why? I, that's why I go so hard on people that your happiness gets under their skin. We sitting here kicking back, enjoying the night and laughing. What we doing tonight is more joy than some people see in a whole week. And these fools got the nerd to always try to come in and Oh, what are you at, man? Stop that, man. I'm trying my best not to say shut up so much, but God, shut up. Like, go somewhere, man. Let people kick back and chill and enjoy their life the best they can. Oh, it ain't easy out here for people. People doing the best they can to, to find joy in their life. I know, I know how I feel. So that's why I enjoy doing these streams, man, Monday and Thursday night. Kicking back, relaxing. I ain't trying to be formal. I ain't trying to, yes, in other news, the Dolphins today, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And in this game, Patrick Mahomes, no, I'm a kick back, and I'm going to do what I would do if I wasn't in front of y'all. It don't matter to me. I'm going to kick back and enjoy myself, talk my talk, loose tongued, whatever, do me. Like I said, man, I built my life to a point to where I don't answer to nobody. So I don't need nobody. None of y'all haters coming at me trying to tell me how to live my life and how to conduct myself. I don't answer to nobody. I can say whatever I want right now and don't have to worry about any rip, rip, repercussions from my employer or none of that crap. So leave me alone, man. You, 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 you have a bigger responsibility. You have it all at all, man. Shut up. Focus on your life. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to enjoy mine. 
You only get one. You only get one. You answer to the Lord. The, the Lord ain't a body. I say I don't answer to no body. The Lord ain't a, ain't a body. But I know what you meant. And yes, I do answer to God. But no, nah, in all seriousness, though, man, we need to call Michael Jordan and see if we can get these skills back. <laughs> Oh man. All right, Daniel Jones back to pass, throws a dart across the middle in the zone. Good throw. Man, Sean Watson T D. You answering to that YouTube algorithm. I don't answer to that either. I manipulate it. I work through or through it. Yeah, I got to understand even this YouTube stuff. I do what I got to do with YouTube so that we, we can make our family bigger and better. The more people, the more we rock it, man. The more fun, the more laughter, the more ideas, the more jokes, the more all that good stuff, man. Any Deshaun news? No. Nah. Nah, I mean, nothing other than what everybody already out here talking about. Talking about. Oh, man. Hmm. <sighs> The Lord will give you Watson. No, I don't ask God for Watson. I don't ask God for anything. I thank him for everything. Remember that. I don't ask him for anything. I just thank him for everything. Thank you, God, for letting me say what I just said. Thank you for letting me look at this TV and watch it. Thank you for this mic that you blessed me with. I thank him for everything. Whatever he gives me, whatever comes my way, I thank him for it. I don't expect anything. incomplete they will be punting the ball so can the chiefs will be getting it back thank him for tool all i'm gonna say in that regards he ain't done with me yet he's still working on me. <laughs> oh he's still working on me oh man <laughs> Oh, man, that's the moment. You be like, God, why? But I know you got a plan. I know you got a plan, so I'm not going to question you. I know you got a plan. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Somebody, I'm, I'm going to show you a comment, Skull. Skull said, TD, you ain't it. <laughs> I never claimed to be. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, I never claimed to be, man. Ooh, to a cool. <laughs> Ravens um coming to town in two weeks. Ah, oh, we're gonna beat the Ravens. You know what? That's gonna be the game to a win. That's gonna be the game to a win. Nah, let me shut up. Cause I keep saying this this is gonna be the game to a win. That's gonna be the game to a win. I honestly said Buffalo was gonna be the game he win, even though I knew he wouldn't. Um I'm just done. I'm done. All right, y'all. Let's try to um hold down on all um explicit words in the comment section. 
If we lose to the Texans, man, don't get me started. We sure better not. We better not. We're not going to lose to the Texans, y'all. It's not going to happen. We're not going to lose to the Texans. I know I say we weren't going to lose to the Jags, but lordy, lordy, we're not going to lose to the Texans. Oh, we're not going to lose to the Texans. <sighs> Please hit that like button. Punch the like button. We're in the middle of the third quarter. <laughs> oh my gosh I cannot deal with these people man they on Instagram they got a um a, um a, a gif y'all know um of Charles Barkley in the movie when he lost his powers on the court and all that stuff came out of him and he was going like that on the court <laughs> They captioned it, talk about Tua in the locker room after the Cardinals game. <laughs> oh, man, he lost his powers after the Cardinals game, man. Y'all ain't right. Oh, man. FYI, Marino is his NFL um hero. Yes. Yes. We'll see, man. We'll see. We shall see. Why does she put that on there like that? Oh, man. All right, do you think Lord for Tua on Miami? LOL. I told you. Uh, he's still working with me on that. Chiefs got another first down, man. Um, TD, you gonna be glued to the TV tomorrow? Not at all. Life goes on. We we all get a notification. People be like, uh, listen, I, yeah, let me tell y'all something. I don't never have to be glued to nothing with the Dolphins. I could be living my life. I know if I got 30 calls, 200 Instagram um, messages, freaking Twitter alerts out the kazoo. To, I mean, y'all don't even understand. The simplest things happen with the Dolphins, and my 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 thing is going off. J Jakeem Grant got traded, and I ain't care too much about that. 30 some Instagrams, blah, blah, blah. I mean, y'all, y'all don't even understand. Hey, I bet you so many people that be like TD is such a rude person because I don't respond. Y'all don't understand. I, I can't respond to everything. It, it's ridiculous, man. I can't respond to everything. By the end of this stream, I'm going to take a shower, lay down in my bed, and I'm going to have. 12 text messages. I'm going to have tons of IG notifications, all kind of stuff, man. I just sometimes I can't respond because it's so much, but I read everything. I see what every it may be a question you ask, but I got to keep scrolling because it's too many. If I got in the business of answering them all, it, it wouldn't make any sense at this point. But don't get me wrong. Some of y'all probably firsthand know I respond to as many as I can, don't I? As many as I can, I do respond to. But I can't hit them all. Mahomes with a dart in the zone, another first down. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, Xavier just said it. Nah, TD, um, leave you in red. Read, I guess, um, LMAO. That's effed up. I can't read them all, man. I mean, I can read them all. I just can't respond to them all. Sometimes y'all ask the same question, so I just address it in a stream. And if you watch the shows, you might get the same answer or something that you asked me that I didn't respond to. Mahomes still elite, trash. I've been saying that about him for years. Mahomes just always has stuff around him, man. Great old line, great weapons, people trying to figure out what they're doing. Then they run in zone against him a lot, all that stuff. And then you see he's the perfect – but Holmes is a perfect example of what I was talking about with Tua. Then when he run up into a, run up to a team that play man-to-man and they all in their face, it don't look the same. Even the freaking Super Bowl they won. That run game won them that game, y'all. And I still live it that Damian Williams didn't get the Super Bowl MVP. They know they lied. Damian Williams should have won that MVP hands down. Another run for 12 yards. Easy. TD, how you feel about Zach Wilson? Trash. Holding on the offense. It's coming back. Are we expected to bring any players via trade by tomorrow? Honestly, I have no clue. I have no clue, man. Once we find out, we'll know and we'll go from there. It's that simple, y'all. That's what it's going to be. Mm. Incomplete. Second and 20 coming up. (sighs) Mahomes or Watson. I mean, people can act crazy all they want, but I take Watson. They just going off of Mahomes because of his current success in the NFL. They are not considering what he's had around him at all. And Kelsch just fumbled the ball and the Giants got it. Kelsey just fumbled the ball. Wow. See, Watson never had the team. Mahomes inherited from day one. Let's get that straight. Watson never had the team that Mahomes inherited. And he right up there with him. See, let me ask y'all this. If if Mahomes was looking like this his rookie season, nobody would be saying all that crap, would they? If Mahomes was playing like this his rookie year, nobody would be saying all that mess. Just a matter of what situation you're in at that moment when you come in the league. That's why it's crazy to me when people be like, well, Tua started his career better than Tannehill. Tannehill never had a team like this. This team is much better than what Tannehill came in this league having. I said it this morning on Steven's show. Do y'all know who Ryan Tannehill's starting receivers were? His rookie year? His two, his number one and number two receiver. You ain't going to guess who they were. Devon Best and Brian Hartline. And the tight end was um Camarillo. Think about that. I want you to think about that. 
Ryan Tannehill's rookie year, his wide receivers was Devon Best, Brian Hartline, and his tight end was Greg Camarillo. Think about that. Even when our starters are hurt, the wide receiving core is better than this group. Anthony Fasano, why am I saying Camarillo? My bad. I'm tripping. I don't know why I keep saying Camarillo. It was Anthony Fasano. So what I'm saying to y'all, even when Parker and Preston is hurt, the wide receiver is still two times better than what we had. Jaseki over Fasano any day of the week. Waddle over Devon Best any day of the week. And you could just pick any one of these guys over um, Brian Hartline. Who started his career better than Tannehill? Y'all forgot what Tannehill had on that team? Now, albeit Tannehill had Reggie Bush. He, I think, yeah, I think that was his rookie year. He had Reggie Bush, but it, it was the it was the aftermarket Reggie Bush. No, nah, it was Reggie Bush, bro. Trust me. They got Waddle playing like Devon Best. No, they got a quarterback that, that treat Waddle like he Devon Best. Good patient run. He didn't get the first, but nice run. Well, we got a flag. Probably going to be coming back. Probably going to be coming back. Who taking a discount to come play with Watson? Oh, plenty. Y'all don't understand. Watson come to Miami? Trust me. Other players, it is definitely going to be the destination. Free agency would be lit. I'm telling you, players would want to come to Miami. They already know what this defense is capable of. You're going to get some players that will add to it. And trust me, trust me. One second down, they pick up about five yards. So they're going to have, um, I think, Oh no, that was first down. So um you're gonna have second and three coming up. They got seven. Second and four. One to the right, one to the left. Daniel Jones, free play, but he hands it off. And it ain't going to matter. That's going to be a first down because of the um, offsides by the defense. All y'all who keep saying, you know, Watson wouldn't want to come to this dysfunction and stuff like that, y'all are clueless. What y'all don't realize is that this dysfunction is only at the quarterback position. All these other mistakes and issues, every team has them. It's football. Every team gets a freaking flag like you just saw. Every team has a false start. Every team has a hold. Every team has a drop pass here and there. Every team has an offensive lineman that give up a, a, a rush to the quarterback just like that one when Daniel Jones just got hit. At least he got at least he threw the ball. Unlike two, no, I don't want none of that. Every team has these same issues. Yes, some more than others, but the difference is the reason why Watson ain't thinking in his head who would want to come to this mess because he knows he's the fix. Watson sitting at home on, on the beach with his girl every Sunday watching the Dolphins like, huh, this kid here, why wouldn't he just do this? Oh, this kid here. Why wouldn't he just do that? That's all. Why? Why? Easy money. 
Watson know what he what to do when he get here? He know where, where the difference is going to come. And let me tell you, the biggest indictment on Tua Tagovailoa, he proved it today. The man said, I ain't doing, I, I, I don't have to do anything outside of what's called. If a run is called, I'm handing it off. If a pass is called, I'm throwing. He just basically admitted to y'all he ain't audible in nothing. He ain't audibling nothing. You think Deshaun Watson ain't going to audible? Deshaun Watson is the offense. Deshaun Watson comes to the line and say, oh, I see the defense. I don't like the play. Look, let me do this instead. That ain't going to happen in Miami. Y'all need to start recognizing the legitimate limitations that we're dealing with, with Tua. Limitations. Y'all not recognizing the limitations that we're dealing with with Tua. Imagine going into a football game where an offensive coordinator is calling a play. No, an offensive coordinator is calling a freaking toss to the left, a run play, and they load the box with nine. Any competent quarterback is going to reverse the play or audible the play. Flex the receiver out, and this is a whole new play. Tua, what did he just tell you in the press conference? I'm not required to do anything more than what um the play is called. If it's a run called, I'm running it. If it's a pass, I'm a marine. Limitations. And you wonder why things don't work. Why would we call that play? Because it would have been a good play, but the defense came in a look that the offensive coordinator would have no idea. Y'all want the offensive coordinator to be Nostradamus? You want the offensive coordinator to know what the defense is about to do before he call a play? He calls a freaking play, and he hoping that it's a look that, that's good because he know with Tua he's not going to be able to get him in a better play. Once again, when the last time y'all ever seen two a audible a play? When have y'all ever seen two a audible a play? 14 games in the NFL. When have you ever seen this man audible a play? I've seen almost every quarterback in the NFL, including the young ones, audible a play. I can't remember when two audibles a play. limitations audibles don't even exist with him they don't even exist with him he's still trying to figure out how to call protection you think we own the audibles They get mad at me. They get mad at me for telling the truth. Incomplete, third and four coming up for the Giants. Third and four at the Kansas City Five. TD, if we don't get Watson, are you going to be disappointed? No. We got to lay in the bed that we made. We got to go for it and... Hope that Tua just has this miraculous breakout. We got to hope that he has this breakout that I certainly touched down. Great throw by um, great throw. That was right outside the numbers just for his guy. Really pretty good throw. Touchdown Giants. Um, we have we we're gonna have to hope that Tua becomes something that I definitely don't see. Um, we would need me to be wrong. I would need to be wrong. I would hope that if we don't get Watson, I need to be wrong because that's uh, that's all we got. We don't have nothing else, y'all. 
We don't have nothing else. If we don't get Watson, Tua is it. So we have to hope that he just starts to become great. I mean, I don't know how that happens or what it looks like, but even me, we don't get Watson. Come on, man. We need Tua to be good, man. We Like, we have to. That's the only thing we'd have. So, uh, we. I mean, it, would, it wouldn't be no more of, oh, man, we needed to get – ain't no more power at that moment. It's a requirement to need him to be great and support him at that point. Only benefit right now is that we got options. We got options right now. If we didn't have options, trust me, I would be a lot more supportive of a tool. But I see the light at the end of the tunnel. We can get out of this now. We can get out of this now. So I wouldn't be disappointed. It is what it is. We made the bed. We got to lay in it. If that happens. Um, but it ain't about tomorrow. The Watson situation ain't about tomorrow. The only win that we need to happen tomorrow is nobody gets Watson if we don't. That's all. It ain't about tomorrow. It's about next offseason. If nobody gets them tomorrow, it's just simply about next offseason. That's who we'll focus on. But the moment he's on another team, it's a lot. It is what it is. Ain't no need to pout about it. What do we have? Two of them. It is what it is. Um. Fins can't attend R-rated movies without Daddy Josh Allen, Lord. TD, a great leader. Uh, thanks. Appreciate that, man. Uh, that's a hold, ref. Oh, they got it. They're going to back it up. Holding on the offense. 40 million, you crazy. He went 4-12 and last year. Great stats, but not the answer. First of all, Deshaun Watson won't cost 40 million. Okay. He's $35 million next year. Not only that, the man has um, – They the article came out today. They would restructure his contract right away and convert $16 million into a signing bonus. So you take that $35 million and you subtract it by $12 million. Um, That's we can go into next year with Deshaun Watson having a cap hit of about 22 million based off of my numbers. Um, that 22 million, and then we will spread out that signing bonus over the next four years. So, all of this money situation, then on top of it, if we make the right moves in the offseason. With guys who don't need to be on this roster anyway, like Jesse Davis and a few others like that, we could have a hundred million dollars and Watson, and he'd already be paid. You need to go check out the article. I think Barry Jackson released today. He gave all the details and the money. If we trade, if we release this person, release that person, guys that we don't care much about anyway, that ain't gonna be a part of the future. If we move forward with them, we'd have we would already have paid Watson and still have a hundred million dollars of free cap next year. Knowing that the Jets is better than us makes me want to cry. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. So all y'all people talk about money and Watson, it ain't even the case. Because what you fail to realize is. We spend so little money because we got a lot of our up and coming young stars. It's the core of this team are on their rookie contract. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot of starters on their rookie contracts. We got like three guys on the O line on rookie contracts. We got Jaseki still on a rookie contract. We got like two other receivers on rookie contracts. That's six right there. That's six right there. 
Don't let me get started on defense. Christian Wilkins, Jalen Phillips still on rookie contracts. That's eight. And these are your core starters. Javon Holland, nine. Nick Needham, pennies, 10. All that whole linebacking core are middle of the road guys. Undrafted and stuff just about. You forgetting all of that. Brandon Jones. You forgetting all of Raekwon Davis. Thank you. We literally have about 14, 15 starters on rookie contracts. That'll be the core. And still going to be on rookie contracts for two, three, even four more years for some of them, especially with fifth-year options. Some of y'all need to think about that. We literally got about 15 starters on rookie contracts. If you want watching, this is the time to get a $40 million quarterback. And then on his next deal, you ain't got to worry about it. You give him one of them Mahomes. You give him that 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 ten year five that no that ten year four hundred million, but you, by four of those years avoidable, where you could spread out the um signing bonus through the years that ain't even a part of what you're trying to do to help you out. That's what you got to do, man. It's easy. The money's figured out. The money ain't an issue. <clears throat> Trade for a tackle and Brandon IU. Do you honestly see us trading for Watson tomorrow? Um, it's it, that's not oh, y'all gotta think about it. It's not the Dolphins. We already got our offer out there. We are we've already traded for him. Put it like that. It's just a matter of is Houston. The question is, do you think do you do you honestly think Houston's gonna accept the um trade tomorrow? That's what it is. We've already traded for him here, in Houston. Take it or leave it. They're the ones sitting there pondering and, and stressing. We've already traded. I mean, anybody don't get that by now. We've already said that we're committed and trying to get Watson. Tua is not our future. But we don't want to say that vocally because if it don't go through, now you got a guy that know that you don't want to be with him and, and know that every time you kiss him, you're going to be thinking about the other person. That's bad business, right? That's all that's happening, y'all. Nobody should be oblivious to that at this point. The Dolphins want to marry Deshaun Watson while they're engaged with Tua Tagovailoa. The wedding is going to be called off. Now, if you end up marrying Tua in the long run, odds are the relationship ain't going to work anyway because. At this point, Tua knows you have your eyes on someone else and you just couldn't get him, so you settle. Tua knows he's the settle. He's the rebound. He knows that. At this point, so all y'all already, listen, I already know. If we don't get watching tomorrow, oh, ha, ha, TD, I told you you weren't going to get him. What is your point? At the end of the day, the message has already been delivered. It's the same message that I've been giving y'all from day one. The Miami Dolphins want to um Deshaun Watson. Y'all remember that's what the debate was six started six months ago when people got mad at me. The Miami Dolphins want Deshaun Watson, y'all. Oh, you a Tua hater. They don't want Watson. They never said that. People denied that for five months. Do you know that they didn't come to the come to the realization that they really wanted them until like four weeks ago? 
Do some of y'all realize not until four weeks ago, some people just got through their thick skull that the Dolphins actually do want Watson. They, they were denying it all the way up until about four weeks ago. And that's when all them people on Twitter start saying, Tua deserves better. Tua, just, they just needs to trade Tua. No, no, no. Where is all that anger you had for me calling me a, a clown and an idiot because I was wrong. The Dolphins don't want Watson. You just want Watson. No, I was just telling you what, what the facts were. It's inevitable, man. Y'all know how this go. Y'all ain't got to act, act brand new. It's literally, man. It's like being in a relationship, getting to know somebody, and they telling all they doing is telling you about their ex all day and how you're not over them. But yet yeah, you're still in that relationship, and they still just thinking about their ex all the time. That's it. X X X. Well, that's incomplete. I feel a bunch of players will ask for trade. What do you mean? What do you mean a bunch of players will ask for trade? If Watson comes, are you kidding me? Ain't nobody going to want to be traded. They definitely going to want to be on this team. I don't Listen, I couldn't see how any of the good players care for Tua. Only players on this team probably care for Tua are the ones who are – the the not the cream of the crop in special teamers. I know Parker and Howard want two are gone. You can tell. Let me tell you who want two are gone. Everybody that get blamed for his lack of success. Every player that gets blamed for his lack of success, they want him gone. Mahomes just fumbled. Oh, luckily they got back on it. But that's still going to take it to fourth down. They're going to settle for a field goal. The entire O-line want two are gone. The entire O-line go home at night like, man, I wish we had Watson. My PFF rating to go up every week. Yeah, the defense too. Plus Flores. Flores been handling this like a true professional because, boy, oh, boy, I couldn't be a coach. I'd be out there like, man, listen, all I can do is what the GM give me. They give me a quarterback that can't throw past 15 yards. Hey, consistently, I got to deal with it. What you want me to do? That ain't my job to bring in good players. It's my job to coach these bums and try to make them good. It ain't working right now. I'm failing. I got to do better.
Miami with another rebuild of 2022. I don't know if I can handle that again, TD. No. I know it because that's the only thing that, that keeps bothering me is the fact that what we're going to be in another rebuild. Like, y'all understand some of these defensive players are getting older. If TD was the coach of the Dolphins, he would remove Tua's access car. Nah. Nah. Nah, if I was the coach of the Dolphins and I inherited Tua, he just wouldn't be playing right now. Jacoby Brissett would be giving us these losses right now, and Tua would literally be continuously learning. I'm not putting him on the field and, until I'm ready to give a finished product because he, uh, uh no, he just needs to be in camp just all year. Reps at the reps at the reps. We got a tie ball game, 13 games, really? It's 14 games, bro. I ain't going to let y'all take one away just because he ain't finished versus the Raiders. No, 14. Actually, 15, but we're going to say 14 because the Jets one don't count. All right, here we go. Let's see if um, Daniel Jones can do anything. Is there a flag on that play? He clearly held him, and they didn't call nothing. Ingram gets seven yards. So Daniel Jones is 18 to 25, which isn't bad. Um, 196 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Solid. So far, not great. Patrick Mahomes, 26 of 44, 234, five, one touchdown, one interception. Poor right now. That's poor. They hand the ball off. Good patience on that just now. But you're going to be inches short. So it's going to be third and inches. I'm in Central Florida. I'm in Central Florida, yeah. Close enough to Orlando. This third and one is important for the Giants. Can Daniel Jones put together a big boy drive? Fakes the handoff, throws, has his guy. First down and more. Man, that's about a 15-yard gain to Penny. Huge play. Another flag, and it might be on Penny. Might have been taunting. Taunting, 15 yards, blew it. Wow, that's a bummer right there. Blew it. 
I'm good, Niner. And that was a 16-yard gain, and it's going to be a net gain of one yard, but at least you got the first down. Screwed it up. All right, Daniel Jones, two to the left, fakes the handoff, throws, got his guy. He's going to get three yards. They're going to give him four. Second and six coming up. Now, I ain't in Deltona. I went to school in Daytona, though. Second and six, two to the right, one to the left. Another handoff. No good. You get oh, they gave him two yards though. Third and four. This the money down. Kissimmee. See, I ain't far from Kissimmee. Davenport area, all of that. Y'all, those in Central Florida know. Chidi, I thought you was from Miami. I'm from South Florida. I'm from Hollywood. Born and raised in Hollywood, Florida. Right in Fort Lauderdale and Miami area. Third and four. Two to the right, one to the left. I just live in Central Florida now. Back to pass. He throws the deep one. Ooh, he had him and just overthrew him. But they got a flag. But I don't like it because he had a running lane for at least 20 yards. But they're going to call pass interference. Holding. Defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. But he had a running lane for about 20 yards to run right up the middle of the field if he wanted. Wow, if he wouldn't held, that would have been money. Two-yard pass underneath. That's crazy. Daniel Jones out here audibly. Still a bum, though. Bro, I'm a bartender at Disney. Hit me up. I can get you and the fam in. <laughs> Hit me up, Philip O. Hit me up in the email. Get me and the fam in the Disney. We need some drinks, though. Well, now, nah, um, nah, that'll be cool because um, I'm tired of paying freaking almost $200 a ticket. Oh, incomplete, terrible throw by Daniel Jones. Too high, the receiver had to leave his feet. Yeah, Philip, just hit me up in, um, in the email. Right, here we go. This is the money right here, third and seven. I'm actually rooting for Daniel Jones now. They going to send that heat, that pressure coming. Yup. Oh, threw it too low. Incomplete. Fourth and seven. They going to have to punt the ball. And they left the Chiefs too much time, and that's probably going to do it. Do you see Watson in Miami tomorrow? Yes or no question? No. Just being honest. See, do you from Carver Ranches? No, nah, I went to church in Carver Ranches, though. Um, that's how that's West. I'm in um Hollywood. Literally, um 
And I know Carver Ranch is still considered Hollywood because it's um, but no, I'm in Hollywood, right across from Hollandale. I'm on the beach side. I'm on I'm on the east of 95. Colbert Elementary, McNichol Middle, Hollandale High. I grew up in the same um, neighborhood, um, Colbert in, in McNichol. Hollywood, California, no Hollywood, Florida. Oh, snap, you from the crib, for real, for real. Yeah, man. I went to McNichol. Yeah, I went to McNichol. I went to Colbert, to McNichol, and then Hollandale High. Okay, by Pembroke. Yes, Pembroke Road. Yep. You got it. Yeah, sure. Sheridan. Yeah, Sterling. Yeah, Tab. Yeah, University. Yeah, Drip. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Drip don't know about Washington Street, though. Yeah. Drip don't know about Dixie. Come on, tighten up, Drip. Hey, TD, I work in Hollywood. That's what's up, man. Ooh, that's crazy. A lot of y'all down south right now, huh? LOL, Dixie. Yeah. I'm, 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 that's where I was born and raised. I'm like right by Dixie, like Hollywood, right by Dixie. I'm from Dade. I get lost in Broward. I don't know why. Everything in South Florida is a square. It ain't like you go in the neighborhood and it's all kind of curves and turns. Everything is a north, south, east, west. Exit one. Whoo, you down there. You down there. Miramar, yeah. Played it, played them every year. My brother went to school out there. Um Delray Beach up north. You Broward dude? Yeah, I'm Broward. I used to date a girl that worked at the um Walmart in Hollandale. Walmart and Hollandale on the beach, right there by the beach. I think that's the only Walmart in Hollandale. Yeah, yeah, by the beach. Hollandale Beach Boulevard. Do you know Cocoa, Florida? Yeah, I know it, but I don't do nothing. I ain't got no, I don't have no business there. Nobody I know there other than you, probably. Florida City Homestead down south. Damn. Key West. I go to Key. I well, I'm not gonna say I go to Key West about three times a year. I used to go to Key West three times a year. Now it might be like once a year with my dad. We go fishing down there all the time. We go to the Keys. All right, game winning drive. Here we go. Mahomes back to pass under pressure. He rolls out. No flag. He throws incomplete. Kelsey can't hold on, but they're gonna flag. It's probably holding. They're probably going to bring it back due to holding. And we're going to have first and 20 might be coming up. Yep. Little Haiti, yep. I mean, I mean, I know all about down south. Miami and Broward, man. I know all, every every bit of Miami and and, and, and Broward. I, I'm, I'm all, I've been in all, I, I frequent all of it. When I when I was back home, that's I over town, all of that. By the river. And my wife loved going to Casablanca right there by Overtown. Nice restaurant off the on um, Miami River. Incomplete, Patrick Mahomes. We got second and 20 coming up. Davenport, that ain't nowhere down south. That's um up here in Central Florida. Uh, 
So TD is the original We The Best, man. I remember before We The Best, it was Pitbull. And I'm talking about when Pitbull wasn't doing all the, you know, commercial wide. You know, Pitbull was, you know, I remember when his mixtapes were being handed out. Oh, Mahomes picked off again. I told y'all he a bum, but there's a flag. All sides on the defense. Mahomes still a bum, y'all. I've been telling y'all that for years. He just benefited from all the stuff around him. And when all that stuff go away, he going to come right back down to earth and start looking like Russell Wilson. Average at best. Can't pull his team over the top without everything around him. Same thing with Russell Wilson. I know y'all going to be mad and be like, TD out here now. I know TD crazy. He's calling Russell Wilson and Patrick Mahomes trash. Nope, all I'm saying is they look their best coming into the league because they had everything around them. Y'all glorified them as the best thing ever. And as the as things started to wane and time started to go on, their skills went down and down and down and down because they had less around them. And if they had came in the league like that, y'all wouldn't revere them the same as you do today. That's all I'm saying. That's all I've ever said. Telling y'all, man. Oh, they had a face mask call. Ooh, that's going to be the game. Now they're going to run this clock out. They're going to run this ball and run the clock out and kick a, try to kick a field goal to win it if they don't get the touchdown. But all I'm saying is if Russell Wilson came in the league looking like he was looking this year, Good quarterback, but y'all wouldn't have been raving. If Patrick Mahomes came in the league looking like he did this year, y'all wouldn't be raving about him. But these guys that come in the league in a perfect situation and they get to ball out right away with, with everything around them, is it amazes me how people automatically don them kings. That's why it's guys like Pat um, Deshaun Watson. I know what he going to look like with bums around him. I judge quarterbacks when they ain't got as much around them. How do they look? You ain't got to be a world beater and winning all the games in the world. But how do you look with less talent around you? Are you worth putting more around you? I'm not going to have everything around you to hide, you know, um, your deficiencies and we find out when we need you most. Dang, you ain't got it. No. The Rams looking good, though. They are, Mr. Spacely, but I know one thing. Y'all bet not lose to Tennessee without Derrick Henry. Y'all bet not lose to Tennessee next week without Derrick Henry. Uh-oh, Hartman off to the races. He gets to the nine-yard line. It's going to be first and goal from the nine. Now, I'm going to be honest. Uh, they moved that ball a little too fast doing that. I don't think that was smart of the Chiefs. I mean, it's all good to get the yards and stuff. But, man, now the Giants are guaranteed to get the ball back. I just felt like they would have. they definitely had an opportunity to – just take all the time off the clock. And you know they're going to run this ball. Well, it's the Chiefs. Sometimes they just do stupid stuff. All they, they just need to run the ball right here. They hand it off, and they're going to lose half a yard, and it's going to be second and goal from the 10. They lost the yard. 
Tenny has AP now. Adrian Peterson, but he ain't the same. It ain't the same Adrian Peterson. And they're going to let this go to the two-minute warning. Two-minute warning coming up. The Titans are done. I doubt it. They lead their division by three games, y'all. Y'all do know that. They are leading their division by three games with nine games left. Leading the division. And they play a lot of bums. They play a lot of bums. I doubt it if, if you think Tennessee is done. Tennessee still might even get, uh, man, I got to be honest with y'all. There's a chance Tennessee could still have a first round by the best record in the AFC when it's all said and done, even without Derrick Henry. That defense, they defensive front is serious, though. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show y'all why. Watch this. They got six. They got six wins, right? I'm just gonna tell y'all the teams that they play that probably a guaranteed win for them. They got six wins right now. They play the Texans twice. They ain't even played them yet. That's eight right there. They gotta play us. That might well be nine. They play the 49ers. Ten. They play the Jags. 11. They play the Patriots. That's going to be tough. They play Pittsburgh. Um, The Saints and the Rams. So how many games is left? Okay, Rams, Saints are going to be tough. Uh, What else is tough? Maybe the Patriots. So say they even lose those three games. They'll probably win all the rest of them. The Texans twice, the Jags, the Steelers, San Francisco, Miami. That's six more wins. That's 12 wins. They play bums, man. They play bums. And then they say Derrick Henry will be back for the playoffs. His injury is six to ten weeks. They said six will be early, and it's really more like eight. And 10 if there's any setback or lingering issue. So I still got them going to the playoffs. And if Derrick Henry come back just in time for the playoffs, fresh too, I don't know. Patrick Mahomes with the dump off pass, and they bottle that up. Kelsey gets two yards. So third and goal coming up. Third and goal coming up. Derek Henry more than likely out for the season. Okay, baby. But they said six to ten weeks, and they will not put them, from my understanding, on the shelf for the rest um, because they're hoping he'll be back for the playoffs. So we'll see. We will see. People better hope that they don't get a first round by. They better hope that they lose um, some of these games. Because they get a first round by, that's just a whole nother week for Derrick Henry. All right, third and goal. Here we go. Oh, they got him. Sack Patrick Mahomes. Bum, man. They are bums. And the clock is going to wind all the way down to about a minute and 10 seconds. So, Patty Mahomes and company put, is about to put up about 20 points.
The kick is up and good. So a minute and seven seconds left. Down by three points, Daniel Jones, can he put together a game-winning drive with only a minute and seven seconds with no timeouts on top of that? TD sleepy too. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy. I'm gonna give me some good rest. Take a shower and lay it down. TD, are you doing Sunday night's game? Yeah, I'll probably be doing it. I'll probably do that game. Touchback. Here we go. Trips to the right. Jones back to pass. Jones throws, hits his guy. Stiff arm out of bounds for about three, four yards. GD, is our team cursed? Man, I don't even know, bro. I mean, we ain't cursed, but man. GD, when are you studying film again? I don't know, man. Soon. I, I, I might do something this week. I just, man, ain't even been worth it. We'll see. Oh, man. Daniel Jones gets sacked. Terrible. And the clock is ticking. Yeah, this don't look good. Third and 15. This is probably a wrap. Incomplete. Fourth and 15. And they send in pressure. Texans. Here it is. And he's going to take another sack. And the lineman. Why is the lineman dropping? That's game. I was going to say, the lineman, that doesn't make no sense. If you pick up a fumble, you run. The lineman dropping down has zero situational awareness. And it's the same freaking lineman. No, it was the other lineman got beat. Good game. The Chiefs get a win. They go four and four. The Giants take another L. Um, yeah, it is what it is. San Francisco is three and four. That's been tough. And they quarterback still trash. Garoppolo is trash, man. But um Garoppolo had 322 yards and no touchdowns. <sighs> At least he ain't throw no picks. But um, anyway, man, I'm finna give me some sleep, man. I'm finna give me some sleep. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Fins up. Y'all hit the like button on your way out. 
Um, thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight, man. Appreciate y'all so much. Y'all made it a joy. Peace. Tomorrow, we'll see what happens.